A22, we are used to seeing military homecomings from, well, this point of view, from the dock, right? Yeah, absolutely. We cover it. We love to have it right here on the morning show. But meteorologist Richard Nunn got a unique view from the other side, from on board the Coast Guard Cutter Valiant for a homecoming. How cool is that? And Rich? we never get that perspective if I, you think about it. I will say everybody that was on board, you know, from our team, was excited because we, we knew what we were getting into when we got on the boat. We had the adventure to get out there to it. But then when we found out that they were supposed to have been home, I think it was two days before, and then they were called to go out and do some other stuff, what they do out over the open water. So it was delayed. Imagine you tell, oh, honey, I'm going to be home. Oh, Kids, I'm going to be home. And then two days later, so they finally get in. They're excited. They there's a bunch of stuff that has to be done before they can get off the boat, you know, cleaning and everything else. I mean, these guys were on it from the moment they said, okay, let's get this boat ready so that once they got into dock, they could join the rest of their family. And I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, yesterday I took you on board as we were doing the hoist training. That was the air crew practicing how to respond to real life emergencies. But today we get a closer look at the law enforcement side of the Coast Guard. The Valiant's crew focuses their counter drug operations and migrant uh, interactions. And we got on board. All of this is just awesome. Check it out. We started our trip to the Valiant bright and early, loading onto a 45 foot boat. We had a few miles to go to meet the cutter. We finally made it to open water, and in the distance, you can see our next ride. Is the boat going to be moving the whole time? Yeah, that's awesome. But we'll get to experience it the other way around. <laughs> We're going to get winched on the side of this thing. And the coolest parts, both boats are moving every time we jump from one to the other. The crew tosses over our life vests and helmets, and we get geared up. It's a little wet. A little cold. For the final leg of the trip. Oh, I guess it beats swimming to get on the boat. Sector Jack, go, Sector Jack. Remember, this 210 foot cutter is still moving as we get into place. The next step, we're told, will be an elevator ride. They get us fully hooked, and we hold on tightly. Once on board, we arguably get the best surprise homemade cinnamon rolls. We meet the captain and a few others in the 70 member crew, like Yeoman Patrick Daly. He does it all. He makes sure the crew gets paid and is a member of the law enforcement team on board. You're out in the open water. Backup is a long, long way oh, away. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. are boarding somebody else's ship that could be potentially dangerous. And I'm Correct. not talking about a boat. You're 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 exactly. getting on huge ships. Exactly, yes. What yes, is sir. that like? Take us through it. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You know, um, I love the experience. You know, it's one of those things where you're going to need your teammates, right? You're going to need everyone behind you. And um, we are family. You know, we're family away from family. So we always watch each other's back. The Valiant didn't have any counter drug calls on this patrol, but it did recover more than 200 migrants. And a last minute mission even delayed its homecoming by two days. Lee Helm, all head 150. Speaking of homecoming, it was time to see how the crew gets this massive cutter into port. Helmsman, come right sir, course 260. This is Rochelle Ann Parocha. It's her first time calling the Valiant's approach. Liam, all stop. All stop dive. She's telling the pilot house every small move to make. We helm all head six feet of pitch. We caught up with her after we made it into port. I mean, it was pretty nerve wracking, I think, especially with news people on board. But she doesn't really let it get to her. Just taking it as it comes, like we're getting a little set far to the left. All right, just come right. Just be really calm, cool and collected. Keep it slow and smooth. Her score from the captain? I'd say a good solid nine out of 10. Uh, you know, it was a phenomenal for a uh, first mooring, uh, first approach. Uh, the only reason not a 10 out of 10, like the other piece we always do is that we're always trying to get better. But any tense moments were worth seeing this and reunions like these. Ah, it's good to see you. Hi, baby. Back on land. never gets old seeing that. It doesn't. You know, you go to a concert and you kind of get wrapped up in everybody being excited. You're there for the band. It was the same thing. I mean, we were there. They weren't our families, but we were so excited for them yeah. to be reunited with <laughs> the families. You know, I, I've said a gazillion times, whether it's Ashley or you know, anybody that we send out in the morning when the, the ships are coming in and they get to see those reunions. They're always, they get caught up in it. They get, uh, you know, I'll even say emotional. And that's the way that we felt uh, just by being a part of it and such an amazing crew. Oh, and I do have to say, even though I don't have much of a sweet tooth, 
Those cinnamon <laughs> buns were awesome. I want were that they? recipe. Because we didn't see them back here, Rich. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. They, they got held on. You can't take them off the boat. It's Customs, bad luck. Customs <laughs> right. intercepted them. <laughs> Customs got them. Uh, during this patrol, the crew found a migrant boat that had unexpectedly sank, leaving 39 people in the water. The Valiant crew coordinated with crews out of Puerto Rico and to save every single one of them. 